the water is so clear and the waves are so slight today, there being very little wind, that you can very easily see the bottom as we travel along towards our next stop. So, Spanish Wells is not technically on the island of Eleuthera, and we are now going to enter the Bight of Eleuthera. We have to do so at these narrows called Current Cut, and uh, as we approach, uh, La Vagabond is coming out there. You can see La Vagabond emerging from uh, Current Cut in Eleuthera as we prepare to go in. Uh, I'm sure most of you know La Vagabond, they're one of the OG uh, sailing YouTube channels, so it's kind of fun to see them here today. Okay, now that we're up close and personal with Current Cut, you can see how narrow it is, uh, you can see the current probably on the water. A lot of water has to get in or out of this narrow gap every time the tide goes up or down. So we have timed our arrival here quite carefully uh, in order to not be fighting a strong current and in order to have good depth under the keel. Um, there is a town, a settlement here, but we won't be stopping on this occasion. We're gonna shoot the gap and head on through into the Bight of Eleuthera. We're doing about five and a half knots through here. Uh, and uh, you can see there, that's the north side. And if I turn the camera around, you can see that's the south side of the cut. It's not especially wide, but it's fine. Hey Dan, what's our uh, current lit depth? 40, wow, that's great. Oh, and there's a vessel coming out, a sailboat coming out ahead of us, but uh, hopefully uh, we can pass like gentlemen. Hello, Ikigai! And as we come past the shallows of Current Cut, it's tricky because um, there are some strong currents. There's a strong current right there on the right about to hit us, and those currents push you all around, and yet there's a very narrow region for you to occupy where the depth is sufficient. So it's definitely... It's definitely not as straightforward as uh, piloting in most places, but there you go. Well, we got through the uh, we got through current cut. It was a little more uh, a little more tricky than I had perhaps guessed. After you come through, you make a right hand turn, but once you're side onto the current, the current's trying to push you away from the uh, the preferred route. So um, that certainly makes it interesting. But we're through okay, and we're about to head off across the Bight of Eleuthera. The fishing line was deployed, but no fish were caught. And now we're just ghosting along. Only the, only the jib is out. Uh, but we're just ghosting along quietly at about uh, three and a half knots. And it's a beautiful day. We learned to anchor Whitetail in Pamlico Sound and then on the ICW, where the waters are fairly opaque or turbid. So it's slightly amusing to be here now, where the water is so clear you can actually see what's going on. You can see what the anchor's doing, you can see what the road is doing. Um, it would have been so much easier to learn in this. <laughs> As long as it's safe to do so, one of us will go and snorkel down to the anchor to make sure it looks well set. Well, it's been a beautiful day here in Eleuthera, our first day in the Bight of Eleuthera. Uh, we've had the sails up, 
with the engine off, which is always the best thing. Uh, we had the fishing line out, although we didn't catch anything. Uh, we went snorkeling. Uh, we've got beautiful clear water. We've got a really interesting place to look around tomorrow. As the sun goes down, uh, some kind of mega yacht has pulled in behind us. Uh, but even though that boat cost about a thousand times what Whitetail did, he only has the same view that I do. So, uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's going to be a nice peaceful evening in this quiet anchorage, and tomorrow's going to be more fun again.